Hello! Welcome to the Vanilla Boutique YouTube channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, well, subscribe for more videos coming soon. Today this will be a tutorial on how to make washi tape using the Vectornator app. Um, as you can see, the Vectornator app looks quite similar to the Procreate app. Um, but it does work pretty differently. Um, one perk is that this is a free app, so if you don't want to spend the money on Procreate, it is a good alternative, it is a good alternative but do realize that it's not the same um, and it does work differently. So I'm just gonna open this up. This is um, the end result, so I'm just gonna delete that real quickly, like that. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of different tools at the top and at the left side here. Um, I'm just gonna try and make my screen brighter. Okay, that's not an option. Um, so basically, there are two types of washi tape. There's the people who like the cutoff part so that it has like the little edgy sides. And then there's the people that just like, you know, clean, nice cut um, rectangles. So let's start with that because that's the easiest one. Um, so over here in your tool belt, you can see the little star. If you tap and hold that, it'll open a little menu. Okay, and you can choose the rectangle over here. Okay, so as you can see here, it has this little rounded off rectangle and then the normal one. Um, you can use this slider to make the edges or the corners more rounded or not. We're just gonna go with zero so we have a normal rectangle. Over here, if I tap the paintbrush, uh, it'll let me choose the fill and the stroke. So right now we're gonna go with a nice red color like this, okay. I'm gonna tap this again and then it'll close. So now I'm just gonna draw a normal rectangle. You can make it as long or as thick as you want it to be. Let's just do like this, okay. Um, so this would be the base shape for a normal um, clean cut washi tape. You could either leave it like this, I'm just gonna tap the arrow again because otherwise um, I'll just keep drawing rectangles. Um, so basically this could be a washi tape, but most washi tapes do have like a, um, a pattern or a drawing. So let's just add some circles, some polka dots. So I'm gonna tap the rectangle again and then tap and hold and then um, choose the circle. And now it's gonna make, give me a red circle, so I'm just gonna change the fill to, um, well, let's go for a pinkish color, close it again, and then I'm gonna draw little circles like that. It's not rounded, if you want it to be rounded, um, you just put one finger on the tablet and then draw it. I can't really do it right now because my hand is actually busy holding the camera. Um, so, but that's an option in, uh, well, let me, let me try it with my finger. So you just draw and then tap one finger and it'll make it, it'll keep it a circle. Okay, so now we're going to uh, copy them and just, you know, put them everywhere like this. Okay, so this could be a pattern for your washi. You can basically, you know, make it any way you want it to. Um, but this could be a finished washi. Now, if you're one of those people who prefer to have, um, you know, the edgier cutoff look, um, you, you can just use the same shape. So we're gonna click this little arrow that's behind the selection tool. And then we're just gonna add points to the side of this washi like that, and then we'll do it uh, at the other side as well. Okay, and then if you take one of them, you can just move it in the way you like, making it cut off. Okay, like that. So this could be your washi. Um, so this little arrow, the thing I just did, that's called uh, using vectors. So basically you can just make it look the way you want to. If I tap it again, 
they appear again and I can make them as weird or as um, long or as thin as I want to. I can add more, making it, you know, smaller. Um, if you want more cutoffs like this, you can do that as well. Oh, that's a vector, that's not right. Like this, so it'll have a more edgier look. You can do that as well. Um, and so yeah, that's it. This is your uh, washi. What I like to do is create several colors of the same one. Um, so then I'll just copy the layer and turn the first one off and then select this and change the color say to pink or purple and then I'll do it again and again and again until I um, get the amount of colors that I like. Now if you want to export it you can do that as well just press this sign over here or this button over here and then you can choose the format I usually, usually go for PNG and then I adjust uh, the resolution to 1200. That's just personal preference because I feel like um, Procreate or uh, Vectorinator does um, have a bit less quality than Procreate. Um, I feel like whenever I make a sticker in Vectorinator, it does um, shrink the resolution a lot. Um, and if you resize them and really zoom them out, they do become a little grainy. Uh, so that's why I just change uh, the resolution to 1200 and then I just save and save image but that's just what I do you can you know add them to your files or wherever you want to save them um, so then you can use them in one of your planners so I've got this one open so you just add the plus sign and then you go to image and then you choose wherever you store them I just store them in photos and then I just pick it up and what I usually do is I um, crop them as well because they are um, pretty big otherwise and they will overlap with other stickers. So just like that you've got yourself a washi. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you liked it, if you think it was helpful um, and what other tutorials you would like me to do. Thank you!